Hi guys, I don't know what's going on with my camera, but welcome back. And we are in Genesis today, chapter 18. We're going to get straight into it. Um, chapter 18, verse 1 through 16. Chapter 21, 1 through 7. Genesis 18, 1 through 16. And 21, 1 through 7. And it says, And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, if I'm saying that correctly. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground. And said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your hearts, after that ye shall pass on. For therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast. Has said, and Abraham hastened to the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the hearth. And Abraham ran to the herd and fetched a calf, tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And Sarah said unto him, Where, excuse me, and they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women therefore Sarah laughed within herself saying after I am waxed old shall I have pleasure my Lord being old also and the Lord said unto Abraham wherefore did Sarah did Sarah laugh saying shall I surely bear a child which am old is anything too hard for the Lord at the time appointed? I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou did laugh. And the men rose up from thence and took towards Sodom, and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. 21 1 through 7 says and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken for Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him and Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him whom Sarah bare to him Isaac and Abraham circumcised his son, being eight days old, as God commanded him. And Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. All right, so today's lesson plan is called Nothing is Impossible. Nothing is Impossible. Do you have a little brother or sister? If so, how do you feel when, how did you feel when your parents told you that a baby would be added to your family? Did it seem like a long time before the baby was born? Did you sometimes think it would never happen? How did everyone react when the baby finally arrived? Abraham and Sarah were even more excited when their baby was born. They had waited a long time, and this is how it happened. The hot sun blazed down on the landscape. 
Everything was very still. The animals lay bunched together in the shade, their tails flicking away, the occasional fly, even the birds were quiet, resting. Abraham sat in the doorway of his tent. His eyes were heavy, but something caught his half-closed eye. What was that? He squinted. Travelers were coming. It was an odd time of the day for travelers. They would be hot and tired and probably hungry, too. Abraham got to his feet. Sarah, he called. There are three strangers approaching. Abraham strode briskly out to meet them. Abraham bowed low before the men, showing respect and great courtesy. His face touched the ground. Sirs, he said, please do not pass by my home without stopping. I am here to serve you. Let me bring some water for you to wash your feet, and you can rest here beneath this tree. I will also bring a bit of food, and I will give you strength to continue your journey. The three strangers smiled at each other. It was a, it was wonderful to be in the company of a kind and generous man. Thank you very much, they answered. He would be happy to, excuse me, we would be happy to accept. Abraham made sure his guests were comfortably seated, and then he hurried back to the tent. Sarah, he said, be quick. Get some of the best flour and breaks excuse me, bake some bread. Then Abraham ran out to his herd. He picked out a fat calf and gave it to the servant to prepare. The preparations took a while, baking the bread, cooking the meat. In the meantime, the servants brought water to wash the stranger's feet. When the food was ready, Abraham himself served the men cheese curds, milk, and roasted meat. He had given them the very best food he had. One of the men looked up. Where is your wife, Sarah? He asked. Abraham frowned. The man continued, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Abraham's frown evaporated. A twinkle appeared in his eye. He had a pretty good idea now just who he was talking to. It was the same person who had first promised him a son 25 years earlier. Sarah sat behind the tent curtains. It was the only place where she could hear the conversation going on outside because women weren't allowed to mingle with the male guests. She laughed to herself when she heard the stranger's words. For 25 years, Abraham told her over and over that she would have a son. She used to have hope, but she was 89 years old. And how can an old woman like me have a baby, she thought. Suddenly, st Sarah stiffened. Why did Sarah laugh? Excuse me. Suddenly, st Sarah stiffened. Why did Sarah laugh? The stranger asked Abraham. Why did she say, can an old woman like me have a baby? Is anything too hard for the Lord? About a year from now, just as I told you, I will return and Sarah will have a son. Sarah slid out of the tent and uttered the very first words that came to mind. I didn't laugh, she said, and she was embarrassed and confused. Yes, you did, the stranger replied kindly, because he who, he was who he was. He couldn't let a lie slip by, but he could forgive one. And suddenly realized that the Lord himself had come to strengthen her and give her faith. God himself was here in her front yard, and his words lodged deep in her heart. God, who had made everything out of nothing, could give her a child. Of course he could. Her very own child. What she wanted more than anything else in the world. Tears stung Sarah's eyes as she stepped back into the privacy of her tent. Tears of forgiveness. Tears of hope. Tears of joy. Alright guys, that was the end of today's story. So let's go over some things to think about and some prayers. All right, we're going to ask God to help us understand his gifts of grace. This week's power text is Genesis 18, 14. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Genesis 18, 14. That's the NIV version. We're going to thank God for the wonderful things he has made for us. We're going to read Isaiah 40, 29, and Matthew eleven twenty eight, and Titus 1, 2. 
We're going to read Isaiah 40, 29, Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28, and Titus 1, 2. Based on these verses, what impossible promise has he made that you would like him to fulfill for you? Take a moment now and thank God for saving you by his grace, for doing you what you cannot do for doing for you what you cannot do for yourself. You just read a story about the fulfillment of God's promises to Abraham and Sarah. In your Bible study journal, write about some promise to you that has been fulfilled. Is it a promise from God or a promise from a person? Ask God to help you see the promises that he has already filled for you, his gifts of grace to you. After reviewing the story of Abraham and Sarah, think about how you can share the story of God's grace with others. For example, think of a deed of kindness that you can secretly do this week for someone. Even though that person may have been unkind to you, see what happens. Thank God that he has given you all you need to share his grace with others. We're going to um, pray when we're in a quiet place. And we're going to say or write this prayer to thank God for a love that causes him to give us things even though we don't deserve them. Remember, being saved is the greatest gift of all. Being saved is the greatest gift of all. So I thank you guys again for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Um, please comment, share, like, subscribe. Let's go ahead and close with prayer. Remember, scripture a day helps keep that devil away. I got to remember that too sometimes, y'all. Um, pat yourself on the back for getting through this week because um, today's Friday so be happy that you made it through another week be blessed that we made it through another week okay so I'm gonna close with prayer and I will catch y'all next time dear Lord I thank you so much for providing us this platform to continue to come here and read your word and um, be able to just commune in your presence. Thank you for continuously gracing us with your presence. Please continue to provide us the strength we need to get up each day and make it through the day, as well as opening up our Bibles and reading the Word. Dear Lord, I ask that you allow these videos to spread to others so that they may hear the Word, even those who may not know you. Please allow these videos to open their eyes. I thank you so much for using me as a vessel to provide your word to others and hopefully give them a better understanding. And dear Lord, I thank you so much for uh, just gracing us with your presence each day as we come here and protecting us throughout our day. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, guys. So I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.